How's it going? My name is Brent from Encore PPF and Tint, and today we're gonna go over the process of giving a car a bath before we bring it into the shop. So this is something that is crucial to a good install, and it's not so much the washing part as it is the pressure washing part. So let's go ahead and go over that so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And it's, you know, it's very important that with the pressure washer, we get every crevice, every nook, every cranny, because there's dirt hiding in there. There's dirt hiding in between and behind things. And we want to get that, all that contamination out so that we don't have it flushing out during our install. Because what's going to happen is you're going to put some water somewhere. It's going to go behind something and come out, or you're going to, you're going to squeegee something out. It's going to go run up in behind something and then come back out with dirt. And this, the pressure washing step eliminates like a huge portion of that from being a problem. And I mean huge portion to where you're really not gonna notice that stuff anymore. Although it is still gonna happen from time to time on certain cars, uh, but for the majority of them, this is gonna be what you need to make sure that you're not getting all those specks in there that you can see that have come in from behind something. Terrific, let's get going on this. So I'm gonna start by just hitting the car with the pressure washer. We're just gonna try and loosen everything up and then we're gonna to try to spray off majority of the big dirt. Okay, so before we go ahead and give this vehicle a bath, what we wanna do is take off any parts that we're gonna be removing for the install. So it has some hybrid, let's see. Yep, yeah, it has some hybrid badging that we're gonna go ahead and remove now. And then we'll get to the car wash and then we'll get to pressure washing. Uh, because this is double sticky taped on here and if it's gonna be coming off, something like a tow hook cover, if you're removing those, it's a good time to do it now so that we can get all that stuff really cleaned around and pressure washed really well. Especially with badging, because removal of the badging usually, be, because of the double sticky tape is going to leave a lot of residue that we're gonna be cleaning off and then you can get those little pieces of the double sticky tape everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's best to have the whole cleaning process to try and get rid of those that little bits of contamination Now I will usually pressure wash the vehicle. I'll pressure wash it off Just to get rid of the bulk of the dirt around like the, the badging so that when I'm running this tool through there I'm not scraping a bunch of dirt into the paint Okay, let's go ahead Get this off Push that back to reattach it. All right, so this stuff is coming off really easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use my thumb to remove the double sticky tape. Although majority of the time, this stuff doesn't come off quite so nicely and the eraser wheel is my tool of choice for this. So just know that this process can be really hard on your thumb and that's why majority of the time I'm using the eraser wheel for this process. We'll go ahead and dry off the adhesive with my towel here a little bit better. And that's important because otherwise your thumb will slide in the moisture across the adhesive instead of rolling it off of the paint. But you can see how much this breaks apart and it especially breaks apart when you're using the eraser wheel, which is normally how I take this stuff off. And so it's important that you do this before the whole washing process so that you can get rid of all of the little pieces of this that come flaking off. And on the channel, I do have a video that specifically goes over how to remove badges and use the eraser wheel to remove this excess of adhesive. So take a look at that if you'd like some more information specific to that whole process. Thank you. 
All right, so I've got some 3M adhesive remover here that will go ahead and clean off the any excess residue here left over. And once that, once you get a little bit of this 3M adhesive remover on these little parts that are still being a little bit more stubborn, uh, then they just come off very easily. Okay, let's go ahead and wash this car now. I mean, we're just going to zoom through this part probably in the video because uh, this is just a your basic car wash. <laughs> And I mean, while I'm doing this process though, I'm feeling for like anything that I get kind of stuck on or a bump. And I'm looking at the car as well as I can, every little portion of it to make sure that I'm not seeing something that's still stuck on the paint. And I mean, there be, will be more of this inspection once we go to like clay barring and stuff, which we're not going to cover in this video. But this is the point. Uh, okay. Okay. All right, so you can see we've got a nick. Actually, something's gone through the paint there. It's just good to notice that stuff as much as possible. That way you're not worrying about it once you get the film on there. I can feel something here, but actually it's just this piece of chrome here it has a crack in it. Okay, this might well. Okay, and then a lot of times I'll even wash these other parts a little bit because in case there's bugs or something on them, we don't need that stuff flaking off. Like if the paint protection film accidentally touches it, we don't want it transferring stuff from there into our work. Let's blow this off again. All right, terrific. So that's just your basic car wash. Now let's go ahead and focus in on the pressure washing part that this video is really about. We wanna make sure and get every single crevice, nook and cranny, everything gets pressure washed really well. All right, so with something like just this mirror, what I'm gonna be focusing on is all the edges around the mirror to get make sure that there's if there's any dirt in there, we pressure wash it out. So right here, we, you know, we want to get in this. So every edge and then every nook and cranny. And then when you're doing this, it's important that we basically want to go from top to bottom. So anything that we blow out doesn't recontaminate anything else that we've already blown out. So we, we start at the top and work our way down. Okay, that's coming off whatever that is. We gotta remember that's there though and take care of that.
So during this process, we're using a Craftsman, it's a 1700 max PSI uh, pressure washer for this job. And that's nice because it's a fairly low pressure so I can get really up close and personal with those areas and not worry about like etching the paint or anything, you know, just you're gonna do some damage with a really high pressure pressure washer. And so this works great. We're using the most gentle nozzle in the pressure washer as well. All right, so that's the process of pressure washing all the crevices and nooks and crannies to make sure that you get all the debris out. So I appreciate you guys taking a look at this. If you found something helpful, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.